Hi, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton, actually down here at Titleist National Fitting Centre. We're doing some videos uh, through a fitting process and just testing some Titleist uh, product. This particular video, video, we're going to take a look at the Concept Iron. So we've got Concept 01, Concept 02. So this is a very niche uh, particular iron. A little bit of story to sort of talk about here. It is in very much in that premium section, very expensive roughly looking at around 500 pound per iron so it's not obviously a mass market uh, product uh, so very very limited so we're going to take a look at these two irons get some numbers give you some sort of feedback of this particular club Okay, so we're going to start off with the concept uh, or the CP01 as they call it. So this is the slightly bigger um, iron of the two models they're offering. So a little bit more stronger, a little bit more of that, maybe that distance club. Um, the sort of concept, hence the name of this particular iron, is really sort of built um, with, with no sort of budget in mind, which is where the, probably the cost is coming from. So they're allowing to sort of experience some or pushing boundaries in production is what Titus is saying so very very thin on this club face we've got a lot of tungsten which is making up 50 percent of the actual weight of the head which is obviously going in very low and deep so really trying to get that ball coming off this this club face as fast as they possibly can so then you maybe think well why is that not open as a, as a main production line it, within a, a reasonable sort of price point um, and the, what they're saying is, is how it's built is isn't possible to run it through in mass production in a way which is where these are very very limited uh, on the production so let's get underway we're going to hit as i say the cp01 so visually down by the ball it's it's tightly so we know it's going to look good the shaping's good of that toe section bit of offset there medium to sort of thickish top line but very nice sort of appearance behind the golf ball this is a seven iron and it is lofting in at 30 degrees of loft so it's in that slightly stronger bracket as you'd expect Wow, and that's gone high. Noticeably loud on that acoustics. First instincts there, that particular shot. Didn't strike that massively perfect in a way, but it, it flew out quite nicely. That's a better strike. Very loud. It's very, very loud acoustics, that. Feels good, really high on that ball flight, very, very high. Obviously that tungsten going, a lot of tungsten very sort of deep in that club face low and it is gonna get that ball popping up pretty high there. That was a little bit in that low heel, but visually as a flight, hasn't really sort of changed up, it's away, it's very high again. So you can see, even with that 30 degree of loft there, it'd be interesting to look at some spin numbers of that uh, sort of iron there, but look at the loft of 30 degrees, and maybe the descent angle of that as it comes into line, you know, that high peak in flight, we're gonna get some stopping power really through that descent angle. So sometimes we're not always worried about that spin being high, because we've got the stopping power through the, the way that ball comes into land. So it's not forged, it's, so we're not gonna get that buttery sort of feel that you sort of expect from that forged iron. And you don't, you know, it's pretty, it's a pretty firm feel, but it's very loud on that, uh, off that club face on that strike. So that's nice shot. Okay, so there's about shots hit with the CP01. I'm gonna change the, the head over. Got some, I'm gonna keep the same shaft in that uh, and put the CP02, a little bit of a smaller version. We'll hit some shots, then we'll compare some numbers. Okay, so CP02 in our hand now, and this looks beautiful. Very much of a different shape from the uh, 01 version we've just hit. So much more compact in the head, slimmer on that sole, beautiful sort of polished section at the back there with a little bit of a satin. Um, sort of section there as well but putting that down by the golf ball that's a fantastic looking golf club beautiful shapes again more compact from that blade length heel to toe little bit of offset slimmer top line in comparison so much smaller on the head so definitely aimed at the player who wants that more need to compact looks but what type is saying he's still providing that ultimate sort of speed off the club face so it'll be interesting to see the differences loft change here so 79 it's now 32 degrees as you'd expect in this type of club a little bit more loft nice still quite a loud sound not as loud as the cpo one 
but still in that louder bracket. Nice flight, then very high. Yeah, it feels lovely. Yeah, so it's, it's you know, it's, it's quite different, I would say, against your sort of T, T100. The feel is very different. It's not that super soft feel. Sometimes you look at the price point, 500 pound an iron, you think it's gonna be fully forged. It's gonna feel absolutely soft as, as possible. It's not, it definitely isn't. You don't get that, that forged feel and it isn't forged. So you're not gonna get that feel, are you? So, but it is quite loud. That fly is lovely. So just comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Price point, again, we're talking about this in a few videos now, aren't we? Prices of products are sort of creeping up. And this, as, to be fair to say, is obviously a very niche uh, market. It's for that ultimate, probably Titleist fan who obviously has a budget to go into that and just wants the best of the best and will pay for that. Um, feels great, okay. So there's some shots hit with the CP02. Let's go and look at some numbers between those two clubs and see how they are performing. Okay, so looking at some numbers there. So we've got uh, the 7-iron on top, CC and Concept Iron 01, and Concept Iron 02 at the bottom. Just ignore that it says two iron, just not change the number there. So looking at uh, the zero one iron first, so we can see averaging the carry number at 179, ball speed at 125, so it's it's pretty quick but it's not the fastest I've seen to be honest uh, spin rate at 4880 so it's obviously in that low spin bracket but it has got that sort of launch at 16 but it is going to peak out a lot more um, obviously got a slight low one there that's just brought those averages down a little bit uh, looking at the 0 2 so we can see 184 carry so a little bit more carry with that actually Strike maybe a little bit better, getting better ball speed, 125, and spin just a little bit lower again, so 4, 6, 9, 6, so it is in that low bracket, just launching a touch higher on that particular occasion. Okay guys, so there we go, there's the uh, Concept Iron from Tights, very niche, very limited, and pretty expensive, isn't it? So uh, comment down below, let me know your thoughts on this particular iron. Is that something you would go out? Is it in your budget to go out and sort of pay that sort of money for the iron? We've seen some brands put some big price point irons out there. Clearly there's a market there, otherwise they wouldn't be doing it, would they? So interested to hear your thoughts as always. If you enjoy the content I'm pointing out there and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit that bell for notifications. As soon as the video lands, you'll be one of the very first ones to watch it. And hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.